Our next speaker, guest speaker, is Rabbi Khan. He's uh, with the Jews Against Zionism in the United States. His grandfather was a student of Rabbi Joseph Dushinsky, uh, chief rabbi in Palestine in 1948, and worked directly with him. Together on July 16, 1947, they went to the UN delegation to declare that they did not accept the Zionist nation of Israel as a Jewish state. His grandfather then moved to New York where he was considered leading rabbi in New York. Rabbi Cohn has been on an active uh, spokesperson responsibility against Zionism and has mastered law and Jewish jurisprudence. Give it up for the rabbi. With the help of the Almighty, Assalamu Alaikum. We Orthodox Jews have come here today representing the religious Jewish communities from around the world, including Jerusalem. We are here to express our solidarity and sympathy with the suffering people of Gaza and to express our outrage and condemnation of the ongoing atrocities committed by the Israeli army against the people of Gaza. We express our solidarity with the suffering Palestinian people. Over the last two weeks, hundreds have been murdered, many of them women and children, thousands wounded, Tens of thousands have become homeless without a roof over their heads. Their buildings bombed and destroyed, including hospitals and schools. We feel their pain, and we feel the, the pain of the wounded and bereaved. <laughs> Around the world, in many large cities, there are demonstrations in which people from all walks of life, all religions and communities participate, including Orthodox Jews. Jews of Jerusalem, America, England, and Canada have come out to protest in solidarity with the people of Palestine and Gaza. We Jews, because we are Jews, condemn in the strongest language this unheard of cruelty, which is against the Holy Torah. The occupation of Palestine, which has been going on for more than 60 years, is forbidden by the Torah. The Jewish people are forbidden to have their own state. According to traditional Jewish belief, Jews are in a divinely decreed exile. They are required to practice their religion and live as loyal citizens in the lands where they reside, and are forbidden to create a sovereign state of their own. This would be true even if this state has been created in an uninhabited land, or an inhabited land with the permission of its residents. But now that the Zionist state of Israel was established in an inhabited land through expelling and oppressing its people, it violates many other divine prohibitions in the Torah. We are forbidden to kill. We are forbidden to steal. We are forbidden to oppress another people. For 2,000 years, Jews have lived as faithful citizens of their countries of residence, without political aspirations, as we are commanded to do. Then Zionism came and tried to change all of this. Judaism is a religion, thousands of years old. Zionism is a nationalist movement, only about 100 years old, and they tried to transform Judaism. All the rabbis opposed Zionism from its founding day. Jewish opposition to Zionism is not new. It's not just since the recent assault on Gaza. It's not just since the occupation of 1967, nor since the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. It goes back as far as the 1890s, at the very dawn of the Zionist movement. The vast majority of Jewish rabbinical leaders and their communities at that time opposed this new movement vehemently. In Palestine itself, the chief rabbi of Jerusalem al quotes during the 1920s, Rabbi Sonnefeld of blessed memory and the veteran Jewish residents of Palestine, members of the old Yishev, were completely opposed to Zionism. 
Likewise, his successor, Rabbi Dashinsky of Blessed Memory, Chief Rabbi of Jerusalem, Palestine, during the 1948, spoke out strongly against Zionism before the United Nations and pleaded with the United Nations that we do not want a Jewish state. When he saw that his request was being ignored, he again pleaded with the UN to at least exclude Jerusalem from the Zionist state. Jerusalem was always considered by Jews as a holy city. But this was never a reason for conflict. The very name Jerusalem means the city of peace. It was so for centuries and should remain so forever. Religion was never a reason for conflict between Jews and Arabs despite the differences in our religions. The only reason for conflict was the invention of Zionism and the current obstacle to peace is the state and its ongoing criminal policies. Today, Orthodox Jews speak up, uh, speak up against Zionism, get beaten and persecuted, but we won't give in. We pray that the entire Zionist state of Israel should come to an end and we hope it will happen in a peaceful way without suffering or bloodshed. For centuries, Jews lived peacefully in Arab countries during the 16th, 17th, 18th and 19th centuries. While Jews in many places of the world suffered from anti-Semitism, pogroms and the Holocaust, Jews in the Muslim countries lived in safety and equality. The Torah teaches that we have to be grateful to them. But the Zionists pay back good with evil. They fled from anti-Semitic countries to flee from oppression. They came to Palestine and ended up oppressing their Arab cousins and friends. My friends, this is not a religious conflict between Judaism and Islam. History proves that. It is a political conflict started by the Zionist movement. The Zionists stole our name, Israel, and the name and the symbols of the Jewish religion, the Star of David and other Jewish symbols. Their entire movement is illegitimate, and according to the Torah they have no right to exist. So yes, it is because we are Jews that we are opposed to the Zionist state of Israel. Everyone must know that the so-called state of Israel is not a Jewish state. We appeal to world leaders to stop the latest ongoing cruelty, the attack on the people of Gaza. Ultimately, we pray for the final redemption when the words of the prophet will be fulfilled, quote, and the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Almighty as the waters cover the sea, end quote. May we see the revelation of the Almighty's glory and may all of mankind become one group to save the Almighty with full hearts in peace and harmony. Amen. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Please give up for Rabbi Cohen.